I did not get to post on my channel last weekend. Um, last weekend was actually my birthday, so I usually just like take time off and spend it with my friends, and I just try to be present, um, which I encourage you guys to do as often as you can. I also started working again. Um, school is back in, so I've been really, really busy and haven't been able to take the time to get back into YouTube as much as I would like to. So anyway, this week's video is going to kind of catch you up on a few things. I actually just got back from a bread making class. So this video will have a lot of footage from that in there. Um, I also went to some rice fields with friends in Hiroshima, which was really, really cool. Um, I went pottery shopping. So I'm actually going to do a haul to show you all of the Japanese ceramics that I bought at the end of the video. And yeah, I just wanted to um, catch up and say hello if you're new to my channel my name is caitlin i live in the japanese countryside so i try to give you guys insight into like my life and things like that um, so please subscribe to my channel and let's just go ahead and get into this week's video Love the hash browns they're so good Me too. the ones at 7-eleven are a little thicker this is really narrow oh my god this is like so close wow <laughs> oh my god like i wonder if i can even get this on film help Uh, arigato. This lady is helping us park. She saw that we were struggling. What do you Yeah, turn turn your wheel and come to me. There you go. Hi, hi, hi. Wakarimasu. Keep going to me. Hi, hi, hi. Wakarimasu. <laughs> she was so nice. I think she was like, these people need my help. She was like, they're gonna drive off. Yeah, she was like, she's like, you're gonna get stuck. It's straight out of an anime film. Yeah, this is so stunning. The beautiful Akio Dacho. We were so lucky to visit this when we did. They are currently harvesting all of the rice. By the time you're watching this video, all of these fields will have been harvested already. But don't worry if you're planning to visit Japan and you're in the Hiroshima prefecture, they host seasonal events. In the winter time, you can come see it covered in snow. And then in the early spring, when they start to plant the rice fields, you can see it covered in water and they even do a nighttime light show. All of the farmers were extremely friendly and they're used to tourism here and are really accommodating. They have a parking lot and then a really nice cafe that I'm going to take you to. Quite literally a dream. Did you guys see that too? Yeah, just Ow. 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 It's a cafe up here. And I think we are going to sit outside so we can enjoy the view of the rice fields. Oh, where are they? Oh, wow, that pathway. 
it is something serious. Hot. Wait, show us your cup. Oh. <gasps> the bug. No, thank you. <laughs> wow. That's so pretty. Then we have matching no. ones, right? No. Kind of. Mine's better. <gasps> the sass. I think mine is better. I don't know what the shapes are, but I love that they serve these in like local pottery. And they put like the coils in it. I got one of their masks. This is actually made local and it's hand dyed. So you can see it's tie dyed with a local indigo. And then I got this Onigiri clay magnet. It's little souvenirs. It's supposed to be a snake. I think I paid like 350 yeah. for this. I think it's worth it. Konnichiwa. We have made it to bread class. Now this isn't like a public bread class that anybody can sign up and go to. I just don't really know what else to call it. My friend Linda brought me along. She's been doing these for about 13 years. And the group of ladies that you see in this video have all been friends since high school. The lady on the left in the bright floral apron actually had her own bread making school. She has since retired and now gathers with her friends on occasions to make bread together. I wish I was able to capture a lot more of their sassiness and the conversations we are having together, but some moments are honestly just as precious kept off camera and experienced in real time. <laughs> Now a common question that I usually get is if I speak Japanese or I go do things with a translator. So I do take Japanese lessons twice a week, but my listening skills are a lot stronger than my speaking skills. So although I could really only understand about 30% of what was going on, I can generally pick up on context clues through facial expressions or mannerisms or the tone in a voice to figure out what was going on. And luckily we're working a lot with our hands. So I would just copy whatever the person did before me. Oh yeah, so she's you can cut it however you whatever there's a design that you want to cut into it, you can. 
太さで同じ幅で同じ力で自体しちゃうかわいくなかったあ、ディーナちゃんすごいスペシャルだった。We'll see how it looks afterwards. うん。だから、やだ、おれんかった。While we were waiting for our big loaves of bread to bake in the oven for about half an hour, we made cinnamon raisin rolls from scratch. So now it's time for the big reveal. <laughs> I love this one. It, it really turned out just like a pumpkin. And then take one container of cheese. Now, this cabinet is basically my dream cabinet. I'm pretty jealous of the collection that she has of Japanese ceramics and pottery. I probably spent about 15 minutes at some point just staring and going through all of her collection. She loved that I was so excited about the pottery and ceramics that everybody let me set the table. So I got to pick everything and all the dishes that we ate out of, which was just really cool and really special. Some of her pottery is over 100 years old, and I actually pulled one of her bowls and put onions in it. And when she told me it was Was 100 years old, it kind of freaked me out. Like, oh my gosh, should I be putting onions in this 100 year old ceramic? As you can see it right here in the screen. She was basically like, no, you have great taste. Why own anything old or expensive if you're not going to use it? <laughs> I love her front entrance. That's so pretty. Did she change this? Yeah, she had something different the last time I came. So pretty. I should have worn better shoes for these things. I should. I should have learned my lesson. Take off my shoes and go. Wow. Oh yeah, I feel like I'm gonna do some damage. All the blues. Can we walk up here? Oh yeah, yeah, Well, look at the blue plates. This one's cute. Is this Linda? Is this for soup or what is this actually for? Do you know? あの、和菓子入れてもいいし、あの、何、何でもいいんじゃない。これ、これがあるから、なんか彼女がね、なんかスープとか入れるんかねっていう。それは、あ、それもいいね。え、それがデコレーティブピース。
So now that I'm home, these are the breads that we made. And this is the really big fluffy one. I think you can see how fluffy that is. It's large and in charge. I'm gonna keep it in the Ziploc bag though. And these are kind of like baguettes. And our cinnamon raisin rolls. I love collecting Japanese ceramics and pottery. A lot of you that follow me on Instagram know this. I usually do my hauls on Instagram, but this is my most expensive haul, so I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Normally, I thrift my pottery, but today we actually went to a pottery shop inside a woman's house. She handpicks all of her ceramics and potteries from around Japan and then resells them out of her house. Anyway, let's get into the haul. I spent about 115 US dollars. Because I take pottery lessons, I understand the value and the craftsmanship that goes into ceramics so i'm happy to spend the money on it first piece i want to show you guys matches my nails they were actually like teasing me in the store they're like you must like red because a lot of the things that i bought is this really pretty color red i really don't know much about the history of this i'm really excited because i can use this for a lot of things like matcha tea coffee i could put rice or soup in this um, and I just think it's so stunning. This was one of the more expensive pieces that I got. It was 3,240 yen, which is about 30 US dollars. I just think that it is so stunning. There are gold flakes on it. You can tell that it is hand painted. And I just think that it's such a beautiful piece that I will be using all of the time. The next piece is this tiny little plate. It's actually wood, it's not ceramic, and it has like a shellac finish on it. I don't know the actual name of it, but I think the color of it is like this really beautiful, deep, rich red. And then it has this really cool black fading on it. And you can kind of see details of the wood. And I actually got it to put this together. Um, the ladies at the store, like our little friends, said that they loved these things combined, and I do too. It makes it look a little more interesting. But I can also use it as a plate for other side dishes. This was about 2,200 yen which is about 20 US dollars. I'm really excited to add more red pieces into my Japanese pottery collection for the fall. I got this really beautiful bowl. Um, it almost looks like there's cherries on the inside. Um, I love this for a lot of things. You could serve ramen in it or udon. You could put salad, you could eat a bunch of ice cream out of it. I just think that it's so beautiful and stunning. I don't have a lot of pieces that have red in them and I really want to incorporate more red into my collection. You can tell that it's clearly handmade. The quality of it is just like amazing. Um, so yeah, I really love the glaze on it and the details. This was 2,310 yen, which was about 21 US dollars. I saw this bowl plate situation and just had to have it. I don't know if you can hear it. It is like really beautiful clay. So on the bottom, it's this really pretty glossy black. It just sounds nice. And then the inside is this really stunning red color. I just wanna serve a salad in this, the contrast of the green and red, and it just screams Japan to me. So I had to have this. It's a pretty good size if you wanna compare it to my head. Um, this would be really good to eat like udon noodles or soba or a salad or use it as a serving dish of some kind. And this was my most expensive piece. It was 4,000. 70 yen which was about 39 us dollars so i'm just like really pumped and really excited to add this into my collection as well okay guys this is going to be it for this week's video thank you so much for watching um, make sure if you haven't yet to subscribe to my channel I, again, always just talk about my life in the Japanese countryside. I do have a lot of great videos planned for the next couple months, but if there's anything specific you want to see leading into fall, let me know. I was kind of thinking of doing a 7-Eleven fall haul. They have a lot of new fall uh, themed flavors, so I was kind of thinking of doing that in the next week or so. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. Um, otherwise, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on TikTok for short stories, and I will see you guys very soon. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye!